Hi, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Google Ads Editor in order to bulk upload or update your campaigns and keywords into Google Ads. Google Ads Editor is a software by Google which helps you manage and control your Google Ads campaigns in bulk and using spreadsheets. It's really a helpful software uh, for Google Ads specialists and people who run campaigns on Google Ads. It has most of the features that you can already find on the Google Ads UI. It doesn't have, uh, it doesn't add any additional feature, but the thing is, at, at least for me, the main reason that I use Google Ads Editor is that uh, when you work on, on the U browser UI, Google Ads main UI, sometimes it's slow when you want to uh, change pages, move from, let's say, campaign to ad group to keyword. Sometimes it's slow to load. And the other reason is that it, you might miss the bigger picture because it's too detailed, too many columns, too much data, which is important, but sometimes you really want to look at the bigger picture also when you want to create a new campaign launch a new campaign or multiple campaigns it's so much faster if you learn to do it through google ads editor instead of the google ads ui i uploaded a video about two years ago to teach google ads uh, editor uh, platform uh, I got a, a lot of good feedback. It receives uh, more than 25,000 views, and a lot of people like that. Uh, after two years, uh, because uh, some new functionalities has been added to the Google Ads Editor, I decided to create a new video and teach that uh, again. So for the purpose of this uh, video, I will create a new campaign uh, in Google Ads Editor from scratch. The first step in using Google Ads Editor is that you need to download the software uh, through Google. Just on Google, search for Google Ads Editor and download it on your uh, system. After you download, uh, you will need to connect it uh, to log in with your Gmail account and connect it to the Google Ads edit, uh, account that you have access to. And this is how the U platform looks like. I already have one campaign here. The name is Tutorial uh, January 2024, which is an old campaign that I created uh, about eight months ago uh, for another tutorial video. Today, I will, I will create a totally new campaign from scratch using Google Ads Editor. So, the first step in creating a campaign, regardless of whether you do it through Google Ads UI or editor, is that you need to create your keywords, prepare keywords, add copy and everything. The business that I want to uh, show in this video to upload a campaign is an uh, orthodontics, orthodontics business that I've done keyword research. This uh, spreadsheet that you see, this Google Sheet is list of my keywords. The first column uh, or the first row are my ad groups. Each ad group has a number of keywords. So these are my keywords and the top row are my ad group. And I have another sheet for ad copy, everything. I have my site link and some other uh, data for myself. Now, uh, if you want to create this, if I want to create this through the UI, I will need to first go create a campaign and then uh, create the settings, adjust the setting, create ad group and then keyboard. But using Google Ads Editor, the process that I use is a reverse. Instead of first uploading the campaign and then ad groups and then keyword, I start from the bottom. I upload keywords and because my keywords have an ad group and campaign name, uh, everything will be uploaded at the same time. But I need to start from the 
and bottom level keywords. Now, uh, let's start. I'm going to create a new tab in this sheet. Let's call it Google Ads Editor Template. The template that I want to create, prepare, and upload it to Google Ads Editor. I need four columns. As I said, I want to start from keyword level and upload everything at the same time. So I need to create some columns. The first column is my campaign name. For your campaign name, your column should be called campaign, your column title. And then each uh, campaign has some uh, ad groups. I create a column for ad group and then keyword. So for each campaign, ad group, and keyword, you need to have their own column. And uh, you need to pay attention to typo or everything. If I write this campaign to, let's say, campaigns, uh, uh, I think probably it won't upload it to Google Ads Editor. Pay attention to write exactly the correct name, campaign, ad group, and keyword. Now I go to my keyword research uh, sheet, keyword research tab. I uh, copy all my ad groups and keywords to the template tab that I just created. Okay, the first uh, ad group name is called Clear Braces. I post the ad group name here. I go back to the my keyboard research, copy all the keywords to the keyboard column. And all of them should have all of these keywords. Uh, let me zoom a little so you can see better. Uh, all of these keywords are part of the same ad group, so they should have one ad group name. The ad group for keywords is in the ad group name and then keywords. Remember, each keyword should have an ad group name. Now, uh, let's go to do the rest of the keywords. I do the same. For the second uh, ad group, I copy my keywords and add group let me bring it next to the same tab add group name is called Creel clear aligners the next one metal braces braces i copy keywords uh, let me first the uh, freeze the first row this is the keywords for my metal brace ad group i post the name to the ad group there might be a faster way to copy this data uh, if you are familiar with function and everything, but this is usually how I do that. So I'm going to do that to the, in my traditional way. This is the next keyword. Uh, only four more ad groups are left. I'm copying everything in their own place. Now I have another ad group here for cost, clear braces cost. The next ad group in, in here and the ad group in Visalign cost goes to the ad group name. And my last ad group. Now I need to give a name to my campaign to write my campaign name uh, in the campaign column. Uh, let's call it auto orthodontic orthodontics campaign. Orthodontics uh, YouTube tutorial. Now we are in August 2024. And this name will be the same uh, across all the rows because all of these campaigns and keywords are part of the same campaign. Let's say if I have, uh, I want to upload second campaign, I will uh, copy everything below. I will copy all the, uh, let's say, okay, this, uh, this part is one campaign and the next, the next uh, set of data are, another campaign. I just uh, copy everything in the same column 
just change the name of the campaign. This can be my campaign two. So from what we see here, right now we have one campaign with two ad groups, clear braces and clear aligners, and each ad group have their own keywords. Now I have another campaign, which is called campaign two. It has four or five ad groups, metal braces, Invisalign, until the end, orthodontics, and each ad group has their own set of keywords. So this is how you uh, organize your keywords and ad groups and campaigns into columns. But because all of them are the same campaign for me, I just uh, change the campaign. Right now I have one campaign, uh, six or seven ad groups, and how many? 54 keywords. Uh, the next thing, uh, okay, let me just change the color. Now, uh, this is enough, but uh, usually, well, generally, when you upload keywords into Google Ads, uh, you want to set their match type true, right? Keyword match type. You can uh, set them as exact match type, uh, phrase match type, or broad match type. So uh, I believe if I don't specify a match type here, they will, up they will be uploaded as a broad, uh, but uh, I don't want to launch my campaigns in the broad match type at the beginning. So I'm going to uh, set their match type in a spreadsheet. I add another column to my template, call it match type. This is where I uh, adjust the match type of my keyboards. For each keyword, you should give a match type. You can give exact phrase or broad. I just want to use exact and phrase. So uh, the way I do that, I for my initial keywords, I set them as exact, set the match type as exact, and then I copy everything that I built, copy them below and change them. This time change the uh, uh, keyword match type from exact to phrase. And I need to remove this blank row. So here I have 54 keywords uh, match type, uh, exact match type, and 54 phrase match type. And now if I want to add broad, I will do the same. Just copy one set of match type, let's say phrase below, and set them as uh, broad, which I don't want to. So the ad groups are the same, keyboards are the name are the same, just match type changes. So this is how I create my template. It's very fast. Uh, the whole process, you can probably do it in two minutes. If you already have your keywords, research keyword prepare that you should have if you want to launch a campaign in Google Ads. If you have your done your keyword research, then in two minutes, you can create a, a template for yourself in order to upload into Google Ads editor. Because right now I have all the three columns, keyword, ad group, campaign. I have time. It's time for me to go and upload them into Google Ads editor. I copy my, all my data in the, the template, just copy everything or control C. Now let's go to Google Ads Editor. Uh, Google Ads Editor, okay, let me quickly show uh, what each section is. And the left top part here uh, is the list of my campaigns, account names and campaigns. You can open multiple accounts at the same time or if the campaign, the, the account has many campaigns, you can, you will see all the list of campaigns here. Then the bottom uh, left is your menu, uh, menu, your pages, let's say your pages. Uh, you, uh, you can select where you want to see data. You, right now, I have selected campaigns. Uh, I am going, I am seeing the data at campaign level. If, uh, 
uh, this is my canvas at the at the middle the big part shows my campaign details my campaign name and all the setting here and the right uh, window uh, this one is your settings campaign settings or ad group setting or keyboard setting depending on the level on the page that you are looking at because right now i'm at the campaign uh, page on the left uh, bottom side i have selected campaign uh, i uh, here i have list of my campaigns in the camp canvas because only one campaign here it shows only one campaign for me and on the, when i select the campaign on the right side you can see the settings of that campaign the budget the go conversion goal uh, be the strategy and other stuff I, if I select here ad group, I will see a list of ad groups. And if I select, let's say here, we have keyword targeting. If I select keywords, I can see a list of my keywords because I'm, a, because I'm at keywords page. So because right now I have keywords, ad groups, and campaigns, I should upload my data from the keyword level. If I upload data at campaign page or ad group page, the keyword won't be uploaded. I should upload it at a lower uh, bottom, low, uh, lower level. The lower level is campaign ad group and then keyword. Okay, I go to the keyword section on the left side menu, left bottom. Here uh, on the top, there are some options. Add keyword, make multiple changes, replace and others. If I add a press on add keyword, I can add keywords manually, one by one. But I don't want to do manually. I want to upload in bulk. In order to upload data in bulk, uh, this option, make multiple changes, I click on that. On the left side, uh, you can uh, select the top one. My data includes columns for campaigns and or ad groups. Why? Because we already have, you know, my uh, the template that I created already has the column type, column header for campaign, ad group, keyword, and match type. So I want Google Ads Editor to read my data. I select the first one. My data includes columns for campaigns and ad groups. Then here, uh, if you remember, I copied everything. I selected all the values here. Control C, copy. Going back to Google Ads Editor, here on the first cell, uh, one cell first, first column, I just click and press Control V on my keyboard. When I press Control V, uh, you can see a preview here. My first column, campaign column, is here, my first, second column, ad group, keyword, and match type, which officially is called criterion type in Google Ads Editor. But if you put it as match type, Google Ads Editor can recognize it. If you make any mistake in typo or something, you have the option to select the correct uh, column here, ad group or anything else. So here, my columns are correct. I Press uh, click on process. Here, uh, Google Ads editor is telling me the changes that it made. It added one campaign for me, which is correct. It added eight ad groups for me, which is correct. I think I had one ad group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, correct. And it added 106 keywords based on my a uh, list of keywords on my template. Here it says skip two. It has skipped two keyword. Uh, you should, uh, when something like that happens, skip, you should uh, look into your template to see what mistake you made or what, what, what's the reason for this skip. For me, I guess the problem is that I should have duplicate keywords in some of ad groups. Probably I have one duplicate keyword somewhere. So Google Ads Editor doesn't upload a duplicate keyboard. It just skips it. So it's not a big deal for me.
Uh, but always, when you upload your template, uh, make sure about the number of campaigns and ad groups especially. I had one campaign, so I expect to see only one added campaign here. If it shows two, uh, something is wrong. You don't want to make such a mistake because if it's, instead of one campaign, you have a two, two campaigns, uh, it's a hassle to fix the whole campaign structure. So for me, everything is correct. Uh, I press on finish and review changes. Okay, let's review. On the left top in the list of campaigns, you can see that one campaign is added to my list of campaigns, the one that we uploaded here. If I open this arrow, it shows list of ad groups below that. And to see the details of ad group on the left bottom, I go to the ad group page. I can see again the list of ad groups here and all their details and settings on the right side. And a uh, list of keywords that I can see here uh, for each ad group when I select a special ad group. Right now, uh, because I haven't accepted the changes yet, they are colored, they are blue. This top and uh, below the logo, Google as editor, there is a small note says review proposed changes, keep all or reject changes. If you make a mistake, you see there is something wrong, then you review your uh, up uploaded data, you can reject and upload again after you fix the mistake in your template. In my case, everything looks correct, so I press just keep all. So they are not colored anymore. This doesn't mean that they have uploaded to Google Ads yet. We will upload later. This is just uh, in your local Google Ads editor software. If I close this tab, this data won't be removed. They will be re they will remain here until either you delete them or upload them to the Google Ads campaign. But you don't have to worry if by any mistake you close the tab the software or you close it now so you can come later to work on the uh, other parts of the campaign. You don't have to worry about anything. They will remain there. Uh, here on this uh, three dots, uh, I can select to show only enabled and past campaigns. Right, on, right now only shows all campaigns. I select enable campaigns because I don't want to see the past campaign from the past there to make it easier for myself to read. I'm going to the campaign page now. Mm, before uh, we upload our RSA, responsive search ads, ad copy, uh, let's first, first to add just the settings of my campaign. This red uh, label, the red warning, shows that something is wrong. Uh, you cannot upload it right now. You need to get rid of this red uh, label. Uh, here is the red light label at the bottom. Uh, there are some mistakes. Uh, it says, your budget is invalid. Why? Because I don't have a budget. I need to give a budget to my campaign. And the yellow ones, they are not a problem. They are just recommendation by Google Ads. You can read them and decide whether you want to ignore or apply them. But the red ones, red labels, you should certainly fix them before you decide to upload. So, okay, uh, I select my campaign. On the right side, let's uh, work on the settings. Budget, first you need to give a budget. I can give it, uh, let's say, $100 a day. Uh, and you can even use a shared budget, create a shared budget, or if you have a shared budget in the Google Ads account, you can use that. Then some other settings, goal level settings, you can select either account level or campaign level. Uh, depends on you, customer acquisition, for default, usually be the be the equally for new and existing cast customers, nothing that you need to uh, focus on. And then one important setting is bid strategy. I need to give a bid strategy to my campaign. By default, it is set as manual CPC. Uh, let's say I wanna select a maximized conversion and put a target CPA of $80. Now my bid strategy will be maximized conversion $80. You can even use a shared budget uh, if you have it in your account.
Then uh, your campaign type is search. Uh, we want to upload the search campaign, search partner and display network. And by default, they are enabled. If you don't want them, you can change them to innate disabled. It's up to you. You can even set a start date for your campaign. Uh, right now, the start date is today, but if I want to launch, to upload this campaign now, but uh, set the start date next week, launch it next week, I can give it a start date of future one week later. Some other settings that you can review and location settings, whether you want to show it to the people in your location or uh, people who are also interested in your location. And here is location targeting. By default, it is United States. We can go change it. I will go right now. So my campaign settings are look correct. Uh, not so much things to uh, change. Just you need to be careful to read everything carefully. Uh, after a while, you will uh, know by default which ones are enabled, which ones are disabled, and which ones you need to change. Now I want to change the locations of my campaigns, which location I want to target. On the left bottom in the keywords and targeting, there is a section for location, the page for location. By default, it is United States. Uh, I delete it. I add the location, uh, campaign level. Um, here under settings, I click on the pencil button and select my location. A new window opens that I can find my location. You can search for any location that you want. Uh, I, this campaign is going to run in Los Angeles. I search for Los Angeles, press enter, and uh, from the options that I see there, I can select the ones that uh, I want. Of course, realistically, I don't want to run this campaign in the whole Los Angeles because it's a big area. I have more uh, sound, a list of cities that I want to target. But here, for the purpose of this video, I just add Los, uh, Los Angeles as a location. If you have any other location, you can add it as a second one. So my location is uh, correct too. There is a section for location negative if you don't want uh, your campaign, your ads show in a specific location, you can do the same thing and add it as a negative location, exclude that location. And in ad group settings, I don't need to change anything. Uh, they all look fine to me. Uh, on the left bottom, now it's time for us to upload our ads because our campaigns cannot run without an ad. We need to add ads for each ad group again you can do it manually press on this add responsive search for each ad group and then write your headlines one by one to one here descriptions here and uh, your ad is set that's what you can do but here because i am doing bulk upload i have my ads ready it takes time to write ad copy ad for each ad group individually, I want to do in bulk through a spreadsheet. So I delete this one. I select my campaign. Let's go back to my template. I have another tab from past, uh, from previously, that prepared my uh, ad groups and keyword and headline, sorry, my responsive search ad. Each row contains one ad group and headlines and description. I had eight ad groups. As you see, there are eight rows here. For headlines, uh, you should write your head the column title like this, headline one, headline two, headline three. And remember to have a space between headline and the number. Uh, you can have up to 15 headlines. You can create 15 headlines. If anything is M blank, that's uh, totally fine. Uh, just uh, the data will be blank when it is imported to Google Ads Editor. So I have a column for each headline, headline one, and then for each ad group, I put the headline for those ad groups. 
let's say if you want to pin a specific headline someone sometimes you want to pin headlines to show in a specific position i can do that i can add a new column and call it head line one position and just uh, pin it as one two or three which position you want to show so for the first ad group clear braces i put it as headline position one so it will be pinned as one so we can check in google ads editor now uh, let's go to descriptions the same way uh, let me make this smaller the same way i have four you have you can have up to four descriptions you can open description create description one two three four you don't have to have four descriptions you don't have to have 15 headlines if you have only let's say 10 headlines you can delete all of them just upload it with from headline one to headline uh, nine here let me press ctrl z bring them back for descriptions i have written descriptions for my ad groups description one two three again the same thing if you want to pin a specific description let's say for a brand campaign for example for example you add uh, just a new column call it description one uh, position or even if you want to pin a headline to or description to you can add another column headline to position let me remove this uh, description one again for the first ad group i put the pin the first description as the position one just so we can check it in google ads editor everything looks good now you can even add some pass pass one and pass two uh, for your ads the same ways as you can do for google ad in the google ads ui this pass and one one and two doesn't impact your ad copy it just uh, shows some extra text when your ad is actually showing on search results i have added pass one pass two depending on my ad group and keywords you can even leave them empty if you want and you need to add a final url my your final url uh, keep in mind you shouldn't write it as a url uh, because google ads editor doesn't recognize just write it as final url and then you put a landing page here everything looks good uh, something is missing and that is the name of the campaign i have my ad group name here i need to add a second column at the beginning or anywhere the position of column does not really matter it's just for easier management for yourself i call it my campaign and what was my campaign name the one that we just created right now orthodontics youtube tutorial august 2024 So now I have a list of my headline, my responsive search ads and ad group name. You, you certainly need to specify your ad group so each responsive search ad sits on the correct position, correct ad group. And each ad group certainly needs to have a campaign. If you don't put your campaign here, you don't have a column for a campaign uh i my guess is that google as a result will create a totally new campaign for these ad groups which you certainly don't want now again let's upload them to google ads editor i just copy everything right click copy or you control c on your keyboard going back to google ads editor because right now we are uploading responsive search ads on the left bottom uh, section we need to select the ads responsive search ads if i am on the campaigns it won't upload i need to be on the right page responsive search ads and be careful don't select a specific ad group here on the left top uh, otherwise that will be uploaded only in that ad group select your whole campaign 
Okay, let's upload it. Make multiple changes. Again, I have columns uh, for my campaigns and ad groups. So select the first one. My data includes columns. Go in here, press Ctrl V, the data that you had copied. Uh, you can see a preview here. You can change the uh, columns here if you, there is any mistake. Process. And looks good. It says it added eight responsive search ads, which obviously is what I want to see. Eight added RSA. And finish and review changes. Again, the new ones are showing to blue in blue. And uh, each ad group, when you select, you will see the uh, key, the ad for that specific ad group. And if you select your whole campaign, you will see all your ads. Here on this note, review proposed changes because everything looks good. Uh, good, I select keep all. Uh, if you remember, in one of my ad groups, Clear Braces, I had given them a headline one position and description one position. Pinned position. Pinned as the first position. Here we can see. Uh, on the right side, it shows when I select the ad, it on the right side it shows the details of the uh, ad. The first headline for this specific keyword is pinned as headline one position one. While if I look at my other ad groups, they don't, they are not pinned. So I don't want to pin it really. It was just a test. Here shows my descriptions. Uh, again, description one was pinned. Pass one, pass two, and your final URL. And now everything looks good to me. Uh, I don't really see any issue with my campaign. I set the launch date uh, six weeks, six days later, almost one week later. So I'm not even worried if this, this campaign runs right now. If I upload it, and there are other sections that you can add in Google Ads Editor. Let's say go to the left side, site link. For site link, because there are only usually four site links generally, I, I don't do it uh, through bulk uh, editor upload. I just uh, do it one by one. I add a site link here. Uh, you can select it as account level or campaign level. Add a site link. Now you need to give the details of your site link. I, I should already have some stuff here. Uh, I just copy them here from my sheet, Google Sheet, uh, to site link, description one and description two. And you need to give a final URL. And then the same way you can add more site links. You can even add your call out, other asset, the structure snippet, image asset, everything. And here through this uh, left side menu, add asset page. I leave these details to you. You can play around and learn how to work with them. Uh, for now, my campaign is ready. My campaign has ad groups, keywords, and responsive search ads. And the most details of the campaigns before I upload that I need to check are locations, which my locations are correct, and also budget, which I gave a budget and bidding strategy. Now to upload this uh, data into Google Ads, on the right top, there is this option for post. If I press uh, that, it will post my campaign to Google Ads. Uh, let's go to Google Ads UI. Right now, I only have one campaign, the old campaign tutorial, January 2024. I'm going to upload the new campaign from Google Ads Editor, and we will check here if they appear in the platform or not. So press post. You can and select whether all campaigns or selected campaigns. In case if you have multiple campaigns uploaded into editor, you can uh, decide which campaign you want to upload. Here it gives me some details before it uploading. It says that it will create one new campaign 
eight ad groups, 106 keywords, and eight responsive search ads. All looks good to me. Uh, I press post. Great, all is green. Sometimes when I upload, there is a wrong mistake. It becomes red, it doesn't upload. I need to go check my data to see what is wrong. But right now, everything is click green. It says posted. Everything seems to be posted correctly. I close this and let's now go to Google Ads platform, refresh this page to make sure that my campaign is uploaded into UI. Here it is, uh, my new campaign. Arthodontics uh, YouTube tutorial, August 2024. The ad groups are there. And keywords are there too. Keywords are uploaded. And if I go to ads, they have responsive search ads. This is a short promo that I have included in this video. If you find value in my content and in my channel, you can become a member by clicking on this join button at the bottom of the video or going to my channel and press uh, click on the join or you can show me, uh, you can show support to my content by pressing this super thanks button here. Thank you. So this was the process for uploading a new campaign. Really easy if you uh, work with Google Ads Editor, you will be up, uh, able to upload, let's say, 10 campaigns, 20 campaigns at the same time in 5 or 10 minutes. Really time saving. Mm -hmm. While even for one campaign, if I want to do it on the platform, it might take me at least 20 minutes, even if I have everything ready. Now, let's say you want to make changes to your campaigns. Google Ads Editor is not just for uploading new things. You can even change to your existing data or copy or export data. In the campaign that I have, in any campaign that I select, I can go and copy data from there to Google Ad to a spreadsheet. And Mm, I go to, let's say select one of the uh, ad groups. I go to the clear ad group for clear braces. I press Control all to select everything. Or you can even right click and select all and then copy or Control C. Let's say I want to change the match type of my keywords. I copy everything, let's go back to the spreadsheet. I open a new sheet, new tab, and then just press paste or control V. I press control V. Here is my data. The data that I uploaded, uh, exported from Google Ads. It has lots of details. The one that I need uh, is uh, this one, so I can remove, or oh, let's say we want to add a label, right? Uh, we, I don't want to make any changes. I don't want to change the match type or anything. I just want to add a label to my keywords. I remove any extra uh, column that I don't need. So let's add a label. The label is August 2024. I copy that label to everywhere. We can also make other changes. Right now, their status is enabled, right? Let's say I want to pause some of them. Instead of enable, I just change their status to paused. We should have some paused ad keywords when I upload this. So I make changes to my keywords. Uh, again, the same process. You just copy your template. I copy everything, go to Google Ads Editor. Now make multiple changes. I'm going to paste them. This time it won't create a new campaign because I already have that campaign that those keywords, I just want to make changes. Paste my data, Control V, process. Here in the keyword section, it says updated. Instead of added, it just updates. I had those keywords available. 
it updated them what did it update and uh, let's check the updated ones are uh, marked as blue first the label column as you see the label columns are blue it means that something changed here yes it changed because we added the label to our keywords and these ones these first few ones their status is paused the rest are enabled green but these ones are paused why because we paused them in our uh, template i review propose change keep all and this triangular it means that these are the changes that you have made to your google ads editor but you haven't updated them to google ads platform yet again any change that you made to google ads editor they won't apply in a platform until you post them you make those changes as long as you haven't posted none of these changes are going to apply to the actual campaigns on google ads ui and for the smaller things yeah, you uh, you don't need to really use uh, a spreadsheet to update uh, let's let me go to another ad group you can even right click and pause them here or even change match type here if you are changing uh, individual changes uh, for updating things i will use it only if i am going to update a lot of things uh, multiple things that at the same time using a spreadsheet otherwise there's not really point if you want to update a few keywords either change match type or their status uh, create a spreadsheet or template for them you just do it uh, can do it right on the google ads uh, editor and not just ad group anything ad, uh, and not just keyword in any page you can change your ad group status uh, your even campaign you can pause it or enable it you can change budget here any change that you can uh, you want you can do individually you don't need a spreadsheet for them right now i just wanted to show that how you can cop uh, make bulk update you can copy first data from google ads editor to a spreadsheet make changes and then upload them back uh, now i need to upload my changes into uh, google ads platform again i go to the post here uh, it says one campaign is going to update i get i think we change budget one ad group to be updated because we paused one ad group 38 keywords are going to update and we created one label so everything sounds correct i always recommend when you are uploading really look at these details to make sure that all these updates and changes are the ones that you had in mind there is nothing uh, suspicious here because if you uh, something goes wrong a mistake happens it might be a little challenge for you uh, i don't say challenge it might be a little hassle to fix those mistakes it's better to prevent mistakes instead of fixing them okay i press post again all went good when it is green color it means everything posted correctly so this was uh, the summary of google ads editor you really should uh, play play around with it uh, there are so many uh, details that you can adjust you can play around uh, but i showed you the top level things the most important things how to create a template how to create campaign upload campaign keywords ad copy i showed you how to change the keywords uh, update keywords sometimes you need to change your responsive search ads uh, update them uh, for example let's say all your responsive search ads you want to change a, a new head a headline uh, the, the, uh, the update process for them is a little different i have created another video I'm posting a link on the uh, top of the this video. Uh, you can, uh, if you need, you can just watch that video too to see how you can update your responsive search ads. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any question about how to work with Google Ads Editor, 
feel free to email me or post in comments and thank you for watching this video